If you're a business owner and you haven't integrated AI into your business, you will get left behind in 2025. And I'm not talking about ChatGPT or any of the common tools that we use on a daily. I mean specialized AI employees that work around the clock, performing high level complex tasks that other companies usually pay thousands of dollars for humans to do but at a fraction of the cost and speed. However, don't just take my word for it. Here's what Mark Cuban has to say about AI in his recent interview. How do you see this new AI era? It's a beast. There's only two types of companies in this world, Morgan, those who are great at AI and everybody else. If you don't know AI, you are going to fail. Period, end of story. Imagine AI employees managing your sales operations or content creation. These are some of the agents that businesses are incorporating today to get ahead of their competition. So to help you understand how you can benefit from this, in this video, I'll first quickly cover what we mean by AI employees and how they actually work. I'm then going to give you examples of six different specialized AI employees that don't just automate, but think, make decisions and take actions and evolve with your business. And we'll also be sharing demos of those agents so you can see them in action. By the end of this video, you know exactly which AI employees employees you need to deploy to future proof your business to so strap yourselves in because this video is going to be jam packed with gems let's get it started before we dive in let me quickly introduce myself hi my name is Ahmed I was a machine learning engineer for a few years and I previously worked at Rolls Royce before transitioning into becoming a generative AI engineer in the past year or so and I run an agency helping businesses integrate custom AI solutions and automations into their business and enhancing key areas of their businesses if you've been paying attention you know that we're on the brink of a major paradigm shift AI isn't just the future it is here now and it's revolutionizing the way we conduct business and carry out our day-to-day -day tasks yes I get it AI is everywhere these this with all the exponential advancements new tools applications and models getting released every other week it can get very overwhelming for business owners to understand how they can leverage all this to benefit their businesses so my job here today is to do exactly that so before we get into it let's quickly clarify what we mean exactly by AI employees these aren't just fancy automation tools that follow a set of predefined steps they are intelligent software programs that perceive their environment make decisions independently with the goal of achieving a specific task or an objective at a high level these AI systems are made up of four different components we've got the knowledge base which is what the agent uses to retrieve information about your company for example you can have company documents uh, procedures, customer information, and also sales data. The data then gets processed, chunked, and vectorized, which essentially means converted into numbers. That's the process to build the knowledge base. That knowledge base then gets stored into a vector database, which is essentially a special kind of database where it allows for fast retrievals and efficient retrievals of like similar data. I won't get into like the technicals, but if that's something that you want me to do a whole video about, please put a comment down below and I'll make that for you. So second, we've got the triggers. Essentially, that's what kicks off the agent. You can have various different examples of this. You can have messages um, from things like your website, Slack, email. You can also have like automations. For example, we can trigger an agent when there's like a new calendar event. You can have phone calls so you can call up an agent to talk with a voice AI agent. Second, we've got decision making. This is essentially where the magic happens. I like simple automation tools that just follow a set script. AI employees actually take in the user's request. They figure out what knowledge they need to retrieve and then make decisions on what they need to do to fulfill the user's request. And finally, the agents go ahead and take that action, whether it's a customer query, generating sales report or scheduling a meeting. And they do all this in real time and often quicker and more accurate than humans could. So now you have a bigger picture, you can start to see how we can create agents that have access to thousands of tools and integrations to fulfill time consuming processes in your business. One thing we have to keep in mind is that if we give these agents too many tools at once, they start to mess up and break. So what we do is create specialized AI agents that have a specific task or two. And then once we have that perfected, we can combine different specialized agents to carry out more complex tasks. And you'll see an example of this later in the demos. So first up, we've got one of the most common use cases that we're seeing, the AI sales agent. This could be either chatbots that you see on the side of like a website. They answer questions about your businesses, uh, FAQs, and sometimes also capture leads information. However, they can also be implemented into voice AI agents, which essentially do the same thing, but over the phone, or you can have it on your website where you click a button and then you're on a call with this agent. This allows you to provide instant customer support 24 seven, which means you're never missing out on potential clients, even when your team is off the clock. It streamlines the customer journey by providing quick answers to common questions, reducing the back and forth and speeding up the sales process. Plus with the automated scheduling and lead capture, you'll see an increase in leads entering your pipeline, freeing up your sales team so that they can actually focus on closing deals instead of chasing down every single inquiry. Right then, let's see an action. I've actually got it set up with my website currently. So if we scroll down, all we have to do is it showing on the screen. Okay, so yeah, we just have to click this and hopefully be able to speak with the agent. Hey, this is Sarah from Agenix AI Solutions. How can I assist you today? 
Hi Sarah, can I please book in a call with you guys for tomorrow? Sure thing. Let's get started. Can I have your full name? Uh, my name is John Snow. Nice to meet you, John. What's your email address? It's john at snow.com. Got it. What's the purpose of the meeting? Um, we can just have a casual chit chat about AI. We can definitely arrange that. So, all right, John, when would you like to have this chat tomorrow? Any uh, specific time that PM works, works for you. Hold on a sec. Right, so we can see that it's booked in for tomorrow for 2 p.m. And essentially what we need to keep in mind is that we can ask it the different questions before it goes ahead and books the meeting. So we can capture like the name, the email, and also ask it to ask for the reason of the call. And that also gets put into the meeting notes, which is really handy. Um, yeah. Second thing, we've got the lead qualification agent. This is such a key step in the sales process for like any business. We don't want to waste our sales reps time talking to unqualified leads that shouldn't have even made it to the call in the first place. This agent works by integrating into your calendar so that the minute a lead books a meeting with you, it would first capture the details. It will gather data from like LinkedIn. We can do a Google search and look for articles if this person ever appeared in an article. We can also scrape the company's website to build like a comprehensive profile on this lead. Second, what we do is instantly send out a message on WhatsApp to ask qualifying questions, which assesses the potential of the lead. And then it uses the answers to give them a score from one to 10. And it updates the CRM with all that information with the enriched profile and the scores so that we can target the right prospect with the right information. Other than saving you a bunch of time, you also greatly increase your convergence because you're instantly messaging those leads and keeping them engaged. In a recent study, it was found that companies that contacted leads within five minutes were 100 times more likely to reach that lead and 21 times more likely to qualify them compared to those who waited half an hour or so. Right then, let's see in action. So what we have to do is essentially to trigger the agent, we've got to make a booking first. Um, so I've got my calendar here. Well, I'm just going to do test name, John. I'll use my email. That's fine. Actually, let's use a different email. John at no. For the number, I would have to use my one and I'll just blur it out. That's fine. For the website, I'm going to use this dentist that we have nearby. And the aim of the call, we're just going to put down to talk about AI automations. So the minute we do that, what we're going to see, so we've captured the name. So this is my CRM. We've captured the name and the contact email, the phone number. And the cool part is we actually have the summary here, the company summary. So Coliseum is a dental practice of an NHS private dental care in Brighton. Cool. Um, we should also have a WhatsApp message that comes through one unread message. Amazing. So this is where it asks the user for qualifying questions and this can be modified to match your business needs essentially. So I've just got it to ask like three simple questions. What does your business do? Uh, dental practice. And then it just should goes through. Lovely. Could you tell me what is the biggest time consuming task you currently do? Patients outreach. Then finally, you should ask about the budget. Amazing. So I'm going to give it a nice, lovely, healthy budget of, let's say, 10,000. You should now basically uh, use the answers that I've given it here and generate a score and puts that back into the CRM. Um, so let me just refresh. Would you look at that? So it's given it a nine, um, really high score. And it also gives you a reason for the call. So we can see that it says the customer is highly qualified for the consultation. They have a substantial budget of 10,000, which is exceed threshold. And this is all stuff that can be modified to match your need. Right. So next we've got the market research agent. So as a business owner, we've spent a lot of time and money doing market research. So imagine having an agent that does this automatically and captures feedback from different personas without needing to do surveys or focus groups or a time consuming process. So how it works is that whenever you have an idea or a feature that you want to implement into your business and you want to validate it first, 
you simply just ask the agent which knows about your company inside and out and also it knows the different customer personas that you have in your business and then it would respond with a detailed near human like feedback from each persona's perspective it's honestly a game changer because you can get instant insights on features pricing and any feedback you need saving you countless hours and thousands of dollars that could be spent on a typical research process right so let's see in action i've actually created a ui to chat with the agent um so let me ask it a question let's say here i'm using it to get some insights about a video so this could also be used for like videos if you want to get some insights uh, about future video idea that you have and we can see that the agent came back um, with a summary of all the different personas so i've got three different personas we've got the perspective of a newbie so the topic is highly useful for newcomers would appreciate the video blah 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 so it wants non-technical terms real world examples these are all good things um then you have the developer's feedback um it finds it valuable interested in comprehensive overview real world examples api explanation and then you see it from the perspective of the business owner as well uh, it's very relevant particularly for understanding which AI tools benefit their operations uh, practical examples potential return on investment so you can see how you can really tailor this to suit your business once you know your icp and you have the information about your company you can spin something like this out very quickly and it's honestly a game changer next we've got the ai social media team it's 2024 if your business is not on social media you really need to start to think about your social media strategy and what a great way to ease you into the process of content creation than by having an ai social media team to build this you need to first train your agent about your business your branding and your target audience and then you have to give examples of content that previously worked well for you or you can give examples from content that you really liked from other creators and then the agent will use that to suggest content ideas it can write drafts on linkedin twitter or even create like YouTube scripts or like an outline of a script that then you just go in and fill out. We can set it to schedule posts strategically and you can also take it up a notch and scrape ideas from other accounts and repurpose them for your own business. Right then, so let's show you guys a demo. So this is more like an app than an agent, but essentially it's the same kind of thing. Um, and what we do is we start with the username. I'm just gonna create a new account here, sign up. New user detected, create your profile. So I've got a company, an example here of a uh, fashion brand company. So I'm just going to give it the company information, which is a trendy brand, affordable for young adults. And then we have to give it a target audience. And also I've got that over here, just for the sake of the demo. And then we create the profile. So it goes and it, what it basically does, it extracts information from this to create like a persona of the company. Um, so now we can log in. Amazing. So you can see here, it gives you like a voice, uh, a tone, and then a personality. And it's got like key messages, which are like one liners that the company might use. Um, and these, these are all things that you can go in there and modify yourself. We also have the post type, post style, and the writing style. So the model picks for you, but then you can go in there and change these yourselves as well. So you can have more of an educational post. You can do a spicy take on something. Um, and for the preferred style, you can do a personal achievement story, industry insight, and you have a few options here to choose from. And similar for the writing style. If you want like a direct non-nonsense approach, uh, more of a, like a conversational approach, and then you update your persona, what you do then is create an article. You give it a topic. Um, so what I've actually done is I'm going to use this as an example. So it's Danko, talks about building a one-person business um so you're able to actually put an article link so you can just put the link of an article that you have or you can use a youtube video link which it goes and transcribes the video and converts it into text or you can just paste in plain text um so the title is a one person business and then we generate the article right then so we've got the article um you can see you've got the title um and if you really take your time and read this, it doesn't sound like the typical ChatGPT generated article. It's really like human-like, which I love. It gives you like some key points as well in there, which you don't need to copy. Um, essentially, what we do then is create the social media post from that article. So you have a drop down menu from all the articles that you've um, made. And then you can select the platform that you want to generate the post for. And here you can again modify the, the kind of post that you want to do, the spicy state educational post, etc. And then you just generate the social media posts, right? So it's done the LinkedIn one. 
ready to turn your passion into profit. Um, sometimes the headlines, like the hooks, need modifying, but this just gives you like a draft. Like you would have to go in and modify it yourself. It's not like a, a done deal, um, especially with like the hashtags at the bottom and the call to action. You, you can, I usually just like remove those all together. Um, but you can see like, uh, so this is like educational post. So it gives you like the key takeaways and just like key information. And then similarly for Twitter, it does the same thing, includes emojis and etc. You can also go in the all post and see like the different posts that you've created. Um, you can mark them as like posted or just leave them as they be. Lastly, and this is one of my favorite, is a personal AI assistant. So I actually use this on a daily. It's aimed at business owners that want to save time by chatting with an agent via either messaging or voice. Um, I've got my setup to voice. Essentially, you'll be able to manage your emails, schedule meetings and organize my tasks. So I'm able to um, add in a new task or see the task that I have on for today. I personally built this for myself and it's like having my own personal VA. It saves me a lot of time and it allows me to focus on the things that actually matter growing my business. Right, so I've got my personal AI agent connected with Telegram. So it's just easier to use because I always have my phone with me and I'm able to give it the commands from my phone. Right then, so let's give it a go. Do I have any meetings on for today and how many emails have I got that are unread? So as you can see, I've given it two separate commands and it should be able to distinguish between those and execute each one independently. Um, amazing. So we have, so as you can see here, today's meetings, it's recording a video from one to four, which you can see here on my screen. Um, and then we have three unread emails. So we've got the AM one. So this is me. And we've got the two... <laughs> We've got the cool ones that we've, um, we did in a previous demo from cow.com. Right. So now I'm going to give you another command. Could you please send an email to Ahmed and tell him that we have an upcoming meeting for tomorrow and also add to my tasks that I have to edit the video. So I have my task manager here edit the video so we can see it's given it the name, um, a tag, and it's not started yet. And also I should have an email. So we can see that it sent an email, um, upcoming meeting reminder, zero minutes ago. So it said, Ahmed, we have an um, upcoming meeting scheduled for tomorrow. All the best. Uh, and it says your name. It doesn't have the name. <laughs> That's fine. We have a message here as well that says, yep, it said that it did that and it added it to the tasks, which yeah, we've shown already. Um, let's do one more example. Could you please schedule an appointment with Ahmed for tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Your meeting with Ahmed has been scheduled for tomorrow at 3 p.m. As we can see here, meeting with Ahmed at 3 p.m. You can see the power of this and you can see how much time is just saved. Of course, you can go in and you can type all this out and you go to the emails and you schedule the calls. But it literally took me a minute to do all of these tasks. And you can see how helpful this is. And I can do this from anywhere because I have my phone and it's on Telegram. I can be out and I can quickly just add tasks and emails. And yeah, it's really powerful. I really love this tool. If you'd like me to do a video about this, please put a comment down below. So I hope that's given you an insight into some of the essential AI employees that you should implement into your business. You can see how these are not the most complex or hyped up next generation agents. They are very simple, but specialized and effective. And honestly, this is just the beginning. They're only going to get better with time. And the people that will benefit the most from this are the ones who try it out and get in early positioning themselves and their company for when new models or frameworks are released that take these agents to human-like capabilities and beyond. If you made it this far, then you're clearly very serious about taking your business to the next level using AI. So if you would like to implement any of these AI agents into your business or you have a custom idea that you want to explore, feel free to book in a call. It should be the first link down in the description below and we'll have a chat and see how we can help you. If you found this helpful, I would greatly appreciate a like and subscribe as I'll be posting regular videos like these deconstructing how AI can solve real world problems and help businesses. Thank you, take care and I'll see you in the next one.